Trent Beretta telling Secretary Sue Young to go to the back. He's got this. Never lacking in confidence, your FIP World Heavyweight Champion, Trent Beretta. Sue Young, a little concerned. Takes it as her responsibility to run the premier athlete brand. Telling Trevor Lee, it's been almost a year that he has held the FIP World Heavyweight title. Trevor Lee doesn't seem too concerned as he basically blows some snot on the belt. As we are underway here, the heavyweight championship of the world on the line, the opportunity for Trevor Lee to accelerate and establish dominance here in one night. His first night in Full Impact Pro Wrestling. As far as I'm concerned, the accelerate button has already been pressed, Lenny. Now is the chance to establish dominance. The talent that's been coming out of North Carolina for the past few years is literally staggering. And this young man is no exception. You want to talk about being put on the hot seat. Here he is against Trent Peretta. Quite arguably one of the best talents in the entire world today. Referee Jamie Tucker. Not wasting any time with the cow Trent Barreto with that cocky look on his face. Then again, when you're that good, Lenny, you can be cocky and you can be arrogant. Challenger rather agitated here as he is caught in the side headlock by the champ. Trent Barreto won. The FIP World Heavyweight title on August the 9th of last year. He has been champ for over 265 days at this point. So just shy of that one year mark by a couple of months. He, of course, defeated John Davis back at Heat Stroke. And you know, look at the names of the men who have held the FIP World Heavyweight title starting back to. The first man to ever hold that championship, the notorious 187 homicide, back on September 25th of 2004, as he defeated CM Punk in the tournament final to win what was then the FIP Heavyweight Championship, which he held for some 476 days before losing to Brian Danielson on January 14th, 2006. Excuse me. I've heard of these guys, Lenny. Uh, you've named two names. Uh, could it possibly get any more impressive? Roderick Strong has held that title on two occasions himself. I mean, look at the names. Eric Stevens, Ghost Yazaki, Tyler Black, now Seth Rollins, Davey Richards, Masaki Mochizuki, John Moxley, now Dean Ambrose, the longest reigning United States Heavyweight Champion of the last 25 years in WWE. Up and through now, Trent Beretta. Does Trevor Lee have it in him to join that list of esteemed pro wrestlers to hold the FIP World Heavyweight title? And it was almost over that quickly. Beretta not taking the contender lightly. It's always nice to sit next to you, Lenny. You're a virtual encyclopedia when it comes to Full Impact Pro and all the other products offered by WWN. I mean, you're talking again, you go back 10 years now with FIP. A lot of people like to like to consider it like a, a proving ground or a breeding ground. The truth is, is the best of the business come here. Not to elevate themselves elsewhere, but to prove that they belong at this level. Absolutely, and Trevor Lee, just 20 years old. The opportunity of a lifetime staring him in the face here to make himself a star in this business in one night. Is he up to the task as the pace starts to pick up here? And the champ again emphatically knocks the challenger off his feet. 
You get a little bit of a feel of a teacher versus student type match here. Oh, and the teacher just got caught. Blocks that kick. Sends the challenger crashing down to the apron. Nothing but steel and wood on the outside of that ring frame. And nothing but flesh and bone attacking him with those chops. Tornado DDT countered into the spine buster on the apron. Release suplex onto the apron. And the champion hits the floor hard. And the complexion of this matchup has just changed in lightning fast fashion here. The contender in control of this match. Mocking the crowd. Referee not wasting any time with the count. The champion's got to get back in the ring. Trevor dumping Trent Beretta, the champion, back in the ring. Looking to go back to work in his quest to gain the championship. Not too often you see Beretta in this type of trouble. I can't say that he underestimated his contender, but the truth is, going into tonight, he had no idea who he'd be defending that title against. What's that say about confidence as the heavyweight champion? To sign an open contract, willing to take on any of six different competitors in one match? I tip my hat to the champ. Well, never lacking in confidence is Trent Moretta as he fires away again on Lee. Talked about Lee earlier making his debut recently in PWG out in California and really turned a lot of heads with his performance in a three-way matchup there against Andrew Everett and Cedric Alexander, a couple other guys out of the Carolina area who have really grown over the last couple of years on the indie scene. We've seen both of them here on WWN Live on occasion. And it's Lee, burying the shoulder in the midsection of the champ. Lee not looking pleased with the referee. But once again in firm control, punishing the champion. Digging that knee into the face of Beretta. Lots of punishment to the neck. Being bent against a turnbuckle like that. Beretta leaning against the ropes. Trevor might want to pick up the pace a little bit here. And maybe one more big move before a, an attempt at the pinfall. A running chop. And the one thing I think I can safely say about Trevor Lee is the moment doesn't seem too big for the young man. Like I said, just 20 years of age. I, I think he realizes the opportunity has it. Oh, a hard, hard Irish whip to the buckle. And that moment doesn't seem like it's something he thinks he can't handle. He, he has a look of a young man who has far, far more experience in this business. And then he does at this point in his career. And he is not in awe of this moment at all here. What's he thinking by kicking Beretta to the outside of the ring, basically giving Beretta a, what I would equate to a free timeout? The guy's in control. Beretta's doing everything he can to get his win, get his bearings. Kicks the guy to the outside. And I don't know if you can chalk that up to overconfidence or just inexperience. But definitely, definitely something that could come back to bite him later on in the matchup here. Well, the guy seems to have a little bit of a screw loose, too, to be honest with you, Lenny. A little unorthodox. Tearing at the face of Trent Beretta. You want to upset Beretta, start messing with that face. 
Uh, that usually doesn't end well for most individuals, Lenny. No. His face is his fortune. Well, don't know I know how that is, Lenny. You know, I don't like to complain when I've been so, you know, blessed. But I could have been born with money instead of these good looks, Lenny. This is born. This does not make you happy. You want to see a flip. You want to see a flip. Why is he wasting his time with the crowd? Unbelievable flip. The speed and velocity you could barely see. But very, very impressive nonetheless. Trying to taunt the fans here at the Orpheum and Beretta firing back with the great equalizer. Trevor Lee goes to the eyes. Huge altitude, but misses on the drop kick. Beretta throws him over the top. Lee lands on the ring apron, fires with a big forearm. Looks like he's going up top. Trent Beretta makes him with a drop kick in midair. Great counter by the champ right there. Both men down. Referee Jamie Tucker counting. Had himself busy in this match too. Really liking the attitude and the style both men come into this match. No real shortcuts as far as I'm concerned. Just basically trying to find out who is the better man. Trevor Lee, I think, is, I think there's been a few opportunities in this match that may have been wasted. But then again, I'm not the man in that ring, so who knows what the game plan was. But here comes Trent Beretta. You can never count down the champ. There's the Tornado DDT. Drops the challenger on his head for a near fall. <laughs> Referee Jamie Tucker signaling two. Look more like two and seven A's to me, Lenny. But Trevor Lee still fighting. Again with this huge, huge opportunity. Most, most individuals, they get signed if they're lucky. Get signed FIP, it may take a year. If you're lucky to get a non-stop win streak. Just to get a look or a sniff or a possibility of even the championship committee looking at you for a shot. Here he is debuting in there with the champion and holding his own. Up and over the top, but Beretta closed the gap. Sent him sprawling to the floor. The furniture here at the Orpheum tonight taking a beating. The sound booth, like a bomb went off. I felt that one, Lenny. In my lower back, as a matter of fact. And I didn't like it. Double count applied. That one actually shook the floor up here above the sound booth. Good thing there isn't a concert after the show or anything that needs a soundboard. That's where you'd be wrong, Lenny. Got a special guest here tonight. Greatest man who ever lived. Are you speaking of who I think you're speaking of? I am, the one and only A-double. Austin Aries? Absolutely, Aries rising. Tonight, right after this, well not this match, because we still have title versus title to come after this. The CZW World Tag Team title on the line against the FIP World Tag Team titles. But we still have the small matter of trying to figure out who's going to be the FIP World Heavyweight Champ here. As Beretta ducks that elbow. And gets turned inside out. But only two. Unbelievable. Trevor Lee. Somehow not finishing the champion. You want to talk about an innovative offense. How right. the hell? I, I don't think Beretta know, even knows what the hell hit him, what, where it came from. And all, yeah, all, the, mind. And all the credit in the world to Beretta right there for being able to kick out. as He got turned inside out and then driven to the canvas with great velocity. 
And I think for the first time, Trent Moretta is faced with the very real possibility that the World Heavyweight title could be slipping through his fingers here. Oh, what a right hand! What a right hand by the challenger! Thought that was it, Lenny. This kid is really impressing the fans here. He's impressing me. He's got to be impressing you. He's a real deal. Oh, this is a star-making performance for sure. Is it going to be a championship-making performance is the question here. Can the youngster close the deal here? Again, taunting the fans here. He seems to feed off of it. Reverse Hurricane Rana from the champ. What a counter. Both men wondering how they can finish the opponent. Hitting him with... What the hell else can they hit him with, Lenny? Well, Beretta hasn't gone to the Busaiku knee. And he hasn't gone to the Dude Buster yet. Still a couple of big tricks in the arsenal of the champ. Question is, does the challenger have anything left? To pull out of his bag of tricks here. Challenger placed up on the top turnbuckle. Dangerous spot for Lee and Beretta. And it's Beretta going down to the canvas in a heap while Lee climbs all the way to the top. Beretta though runs up the ropes. Release German Superplex. And the challenger's in trouble here. Oh, what a counter to the Musaiku knee. We got a new champ. Less than half a count from a new world heavyweight champ right there. Old Beretta and Lee in all kinds of trouble, Lenny. You want to talk about high impact? Oh my God! Both of these men want it. They can taste it. Both have thought they have had victory, basically snatched away from them. Now trading blows to the face. Square it off. Headbutt to the side of the face, almost like a chin breaker there. The European uppercut backs the champ into the corner. Oh, what a running knee lift. Northern Lariat. Bipasso. Roundhouse kick. Suplex him into the power bomb for two. What an amazing display here. This FIP World Heavyweight Championship match. Trevor Lee proving he is the true number one contender as far as I'm concerned, Lenny. Unbelievable. Took a chance, but able to stop his momentum from going out to the floor there. Don't hit the sound. Oh, Trent caught him. Dude Buster. No. Are you kidding me? Trevor Lee. What a warrior. How in the hell are you? 
I'm in shock. This kid has been finished, as far as I've been concerned, at least three times now. But digging down deep, still in this match. Oh, the champ would fire in his eyes out of the corner. Busekou knee. Trent Beretta, still the full impact pro wrestling heavyweight champion of the world. But he was pushed, and I mean pushed to the limits by Trevor Lee here tonight. In what was a star making performance on the part of this tremendously talented 20 year old out of North Carolina. Nothing whatsoever for Trevor Lee to hang his head about here tonight. He came within inches of becoming the heavyweight champion of the world his first night in the company. Let's go to Ron Heaney and the champ. Once again, and still, you're FIP World Heavyweight Champion, but I'm gonna tell you something, Trent. That was one hell of an effort from Trevor Lee. And that match you just put in the ring in front of these people was absolutely amazing. And once again, a show stealer. I don't know about you, but there's a 20 year old kid named Trevor Lee that just impressed the hell out of me. And uh, myself, I killed it. Well, what else is new?